Welcome to sailing vessel Angelica Vancouver, later than we think. Angelica Vancouver is a Coast 34, built in 1990 and has been her home for 22 years. In our last episode, Mike had problems with up and down and we fixed our water maker while in Grace Harbor. I had to drink a water from the stream and tried to get beaver fever. A really big forest creature tried to scare me. Well, actually, did scare me a bit. A bit? I bet you squealed like a little girl and danced all around. I never did see what it was. I think it was a uh, the infamous green bush, long-tailed snark. I don't think so. It was really big. In this episode, we leave Grace Harbor and head around to Laura Cove. Laura Cove is in Desolation Sound, which is one of the most popular boating destinations in BC, and this year was no exception. Here we see Jackie doing her best Captain Morgan imitation with her foot up on the barrel. Desolation Sound is one of the most popular marine parks in BC and enjoys the warmest climate abundant sea life, and warmest waters. Yeah, no kidding. Even though we're north of 49, the water temperature is usually around 70, 75 in the summer. Laura Cove is not as large as Prito Haven. It requires you to anchor with a stern line tied to shore, but it's a beautiful spot. Here we are in Laura Cove and putting out the stern line. Um, taking a little longer than I thought because uh, we decided to anchor in the middle of the cove. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that we were around nobody. Yeah, we're around nobody. We're like. 200. Well, we do have uh, over 200 feet of the flat line out at this point. This is the first time we've used our flat line uh, stern line. Yeah, so I row ashore and now I'm trying to find a tree. Preferably one I can tie around, one I can scramble up the beach to, and one that doesn't have a bear sleeping underneath it. Hmm, that's always important, you know, sleeping bears, because we have seen them up here before. Oh yeah, <laughs> bit of a shock when you scramble up through the bush. Yes, it is taking him a bit of time. Um, Mike and I are communicating back and forth. We have uh, two-way headsets, and so uh, he's uh, telling me to let out some more uh, anchor chain. Yeah, they call these marriage savers. Cruisers yes. call them marriage savers. Definitely. We use them every time we anchor and anytime he's ashore or away from the boat. Um, they've got about a mile distance. About a mile range. Got to get these guys. Yeah, perfect. They're hands-free too, so it uh, makes it easier for us to do all the work on the boat. Yeah, I'm definitely taking my time here. This this whole sequence... Well, there is 200 feet of line you got to haul in. Oh my god, this it was like 20 minutes fiddling around with this. Well, you're slow and we're old. <laughs>
finally we're all settled in, tucked up nice and close to the shore, not too close so that we're not on the rocks. Stern line's all taken care of and we decide to go for a row. In our squeaky dinghy. Well, we have the sound turned off on the video so you can't hear the squeaky dinghy. You'll hear it later. The sun is finally starting to come out and our boat is really starting to sparkle. Her uh, hull there is just a gleaming, so much so it just uh, looks so white. It's actually green. So here we are in the little cut between Laurel Cove and Prito Haven. Sorry for the squeaky dingy. I think the tide's going this way. The current's going this way for sure. Yeah, we're just kind of drifting along. I'd have to think about that. Mm, you have to roll against it. I <laughs> might run out of water. <laughs> uh, it's getting kind of skinny. Getting kind of skinny. The tide's going to drop in a couple more feet. Getting kind of skinny. Yeah, I think you could go through there. Look at all the bait fish. A lot of them yeah. swirling in there. Yeah. And the seagull coming in to eat. You know why those bait fish are swirling? No, why? Something chased them in there. Otter or something. Nope, it's a salmon. Salmon chased him in there? Salmon. Put all the oysters on the bottom. I wonder if this is seashell there's, beach. There's big fish there. Right there. Yeah. Maybe we chased them. <laughs> we probably it's possibly. Yeah. They saw us coming in. in the yeah, there's um, quite a bit of oysters down there. I wouldn't take any in here, that's why there's so many. Yeah, because, because it's polluted. Yeah. Seashell Beach is over there, mm. where that big boat is. Oh, there's a whack of bait fish over there, too. Yeah, I might. I don't know if it's deeper around that way, but I think you can get around that way too. Then you can get through there. Oh, you went right into a rock. <laughs> you you rode us right into a rock. Wait a minute. Where'd you row us into a rock? You were guys. I wasn't. I was looking. I thought you saw that rock. <laughs> you rode us right into a rock. I told you there was rocks on that side. It's deeper water over that way. Are we going back? No, I'm trying to get off this rock. Oh, that rock. <laughs> you just rode us right into a rock pile. <laughs> You're supposed to be directing us. <laughs> you rode us right into a rock pile. <laughs> what a goomba. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think we can get around that way, dear. I think so. I think we can. Because I can see the lines for the other boats. It's wider that way. Let's go over that way then. Unless you want to go all the way through. But no, no, no. No, 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 no. This is good. Like Throw me around. Swing it around now. 
There's no rocks this way. Oh, you said the other way. I didn't say that. I said there was a tree and a bunch of rocks and you rode right into the rock. Later in the afternoon we went out fishing, caught this little rock snapper about five effing times. I think he's pretty played out at this point. This is like the fifth time I've let him go. Yeah, he was pretty tiny, not a keeper at all. Not a, you couldn't even use him as bait, he was so small. And you know, all bone. Yeah, see, he's kind of tuckered. Oh. <laughs> he scared me! In our next episode, we see whales. up to the end of Von Donop Inlet, where we spent a lovely three days. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. You can also check out our Facebook page, Instagram page, and YouTube channel at Angelique of Vancouver, Sailing Vessel Angelique.